Okay, um, alright, um, as uh, Misha stated, um, in, in insurance, uh, not everything is, uh, I mean, um, the, not everything is covered just by paying the uh, 1095 or 20, 20, like $30 a month. <coughs> he also mentioned that uh, you have to also pay for like uh, your premiums and your deductibles. <coughs> the thing is, uh, before you choose your insurance, um, you can you actually have a choice between other different types of insurance, and then different insurances cover different things at different costs. And if you're deductible, you you can choose your own deductible. Um, they have ranges from like a hundred dollars to up to like five hundred dollars. No? And then um, they also mentioned, or Dimitri also mentioned, 80% um, of veterinary care places are private practice. And since they are privately practiced, um, this means that you're, you can actually, if, the, if your costs are relatively high with your vet, you can actually talk to your vet and then you know possibly work out some kind of payment plan. Um, or, or you can um, take take your uh, get a second opinion, or you can take your pet to a like a low low income area, possibly cheaper. Um, I just want to uh, just go over what we went over. Um, you should take care of your pet at home before before problems along the road occur, such as uh, <coughs> make sure your dog is eating properly and make sure you're brushing your teeth and to prevent problems from happening in the future. And insurance helps greatly. Um, there will be problems. 96% of all uh, pets will encounter an expensive procedure in their lifetime. So insurance is a very good idea to get. Um, <coughs> and then outside organizations do help, such as low-cost vets and other veterinary schools. Um, even if we got one here at Cal Poly. <coughs> and then not everyone should have to pay through taxes because not everyone needs vet care. If one needs vet care, they can resort to um, taking care of pet at home. They can also go to insurance and also outside organizations. Um, and on the administration, on how their program can pay with taxes on pet supplies for cats and dogs, um, tax on pet products, especially food, will really increase their costs and thus deter pet owners from paying for pet food. A possible outcome would be that people will begin feeding human food to their pets as a cheaper alternative, but this causes malnourishment for the animal and health issues also. Also, this isn't solving the problem, it's just moving the cost that pet owners have to pay to a different place. To have a sufficient enough amount of government front funds for veterinary care by taxes, these taxes would have to be extremely high, and even still it would take take years until there's a big enough amount to cover national veterinary care.